history in 1983. Uh, that was the time the war broke out in Sudan between uh, Christian and Muslim. The south, which is southern Sudan, was all Christian. And the north, which is the northern Sudan, was all Muslim. So the war was between the Christian and the Muslim in, south, in Sudan. So in 1987, Arab militia was attacking our villages, killing and looting young women, rapings, and kidnapping. By that time, I was seven years old. We just move out from the villages ourselves. So the river is between Ethiopia and Sudan. So we are in other part of Ethiopia. So we want to cross to Sudan. And the river was pulled with a lot of crocodiles. And the enemy is behind us, shooting us. So it was a shock to us where we going. Behind you is the enemy shooting you with a gun. In the river, there is crocodile. It's a lot of crocodile. And a thousand of people in, uh, on the bank of the river. So what happened is, when the people hear a gun, some people throw them into the river. And crocodile took some of them, and some of them swim to the other side of the river. That is what happened in the river Gilo. And we lost a thousand. The incredible thing about Mission Hope South Sudan is that we are going to build a library, a library educational center in South Sudan, uh, in the village that Atem was born in. And, and this is incredible, and we are really having folks jump on board with this. And we invite you uh, to unite with us at Mary's Project. I've been studying South Sudan, and, uh, and Atem is uh, doing all he can to educate me, so I think I have this right. Uh, it's in the Ajong uh, community in Zhongli State in South Sudan. So it's that part of South Sudan. And it, it's just great. The uh, elementary school that I work at, which I'm a Sioux Falls Catholic Schools employee, I work at Holy Spirit Elementary, they have jumped on board are excited, the children there are excited, the parents are excited that we're building a library for the children in South Sudan and the adults. And we're gathering now backpacks, school supplies, uh, computers, books. Uh, we're even bringing over shirts for the uh, pastors and the priests over there and collars and just everything we can for this first trip. We are specifically going during Christmas time, because it is the reunion of the Lost Boys of Sudan. Some of them haven't been home in 20 years. So we are going to go meet some government officials, meet some local officials, some pastors, and pick out the plot of land to build the library. And then we're going to videotape and document the whole trip. And we're also going to go to Kakuma Refugee Camp, which I'm a um, just can't wait to see and be a part of that. I know it's going to be very heart moving and be able to see the, the whole history and plight of the Lost Boys. And now we have a hundred Lost Boys in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Okay, thanks, Tim. Well, welcome to the Mary's Project Mission Office. This is where we have all of our religious materials that we distribute around the world. Uh, we get uh, requests in every day. Uh, usually anywhere from four to five requests a day uh, from everywhere. And here is where we are also gathering all of the great donations from all the good folks around Sioux Falls and from some other states that we're actually shipping uh, to the children in South Sudan. And we're going to be taking with us as, mu as much as possible. So Atem is here um, with some other volunteers helping us pack some supplies up for our trip in two months. 
Um, these are some of the shelves. We have some absolutely wonderful people from the church that uh, donate to us in the way of religious materials, and we get these out to, uh, to Christians. A whole bulk of this is going to South Sudan, so we're working on getting some of it packed for the trip. Some of it will ship. Um, we have like at least 10,000 rosaries, so uh, thank you, Eric, and just stacks of these here and all sorts of religious materials and pamphlets and over here also there's 1500 pamphlets in each box and also back there there's lots of boxes so we're packing this stuff up and getting it out and we're so excited to be bringing it with us some of the things we have two elementary schools in Sioux Falls, um, one of which is Holy Spirit Elementary where I work at as a religious education teacher and we are just bringing to the kids all sorts of school supplies. We have a whole bag of brand new magic markers, uh, backpacks, children's backpacks, school supplies. There's a book fair going on right now that ends tomorrow uh, after uh, Sunday masses and services and the, the parents and the kids at the school have set up a donation box for Mission Hope South Sudan in the book fair, and so all those donations collected all week long, we're going to be able to go in uh, with the TEM and pick out books for the kids in South Sudan. So lots of exciting things going on, and we invite you to please unite with us. You can go to our website, uh, www.marysproject.com, and Mission Hope South Sudan is up there. Please contact us. Our contact number, number is there, our email address. And we'd love to talk to you more about the mission. ask you to please unite with us, uh, whatever's from the bottom of your heart, to build this library educational center in South Sudan, in the village of one of the Lost Boys, Atem Juai. Their, their history and their plight and what these boys have been through is absolutely incredible. We want to help them, but we need your financial support. We need you to unite with us at Mary's Project, to unite with myself and Atem and the Lost Boys and the uh, beautiful folks in South Sudan, we have to help rebuild their infrastructure. We can only do that with financial support. We have a plan in place. Please go to the website. There's a PayPal donation up. There's also uh, a P.O. box. If you would prefer to write a check, you can call me directly uh, to ask more questions, more information. But we ask for your support in this very important mission and project. Uh, building a library educational center. Amazing grape how sweet they sound that save the rich like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. I see did gay a meet ping de lo gran chamar chaman en en e chamar kumen en yo chak chor kumen ayen.